Before installation, please read through your car seat and vehicle instruction manual. Please ensure your car seat is properly installed before placing your little one in it. This car seat must always be installed using the Snug Turn iSize R129 rotating ISOFIX base. Unfold the load leg and place the Snug Turn iSize R129 base on the vehicle seat. Press the ISOFIX connector button and extend the ISOFIX connectors. Line up the ISOFIX connectors with the ISOFIX guides and push them in until you hear a click. The indicators will turn green when the base is secure. Press the ISOFIX connector button and push the base firmly against the back of the vehicle seat. After attaching the ISOFIX connectors, pull the load leg down and make sure it is intact with the vehicle floor. When the load leg indicator shows green, it means it is installed correctly. The load leg can be used in any of the positions to ensure a proper fit with your vehicle. When used rearward facing, the shoulder harness height must be even with or just below your child's shoulders. Your little one must be rearward until they reach a height of 75 centimeters and 15 months of age. We recommend keeping them rearward facing as long as possible, up to 105 centimeters, approximately four years of age. Once the Snug Turn iSize R129 rotating base is correctly installed, Place the Snug Go iSize R129 car seat on the base. The indicator on the base will turn green when the car seat is securely connected. Activate one of the rotation buttons located on the sides of the car seat and rotate it toward you. Loosen the harness by pressing the harness adjuster button and pulling out the slack. Unlock the buckle of the harness by pressing the red button. Place the buckles on the sides of the seat. Remove the infant insert for children over six months of age. If your child is under six months, the infant insert is designed to keep them comfortable and increase side impact protection. Once your little one is in the seat, pull the shoulder harness over the child's shoulders. Then engage the buckle. Check to make sure the harness straps are at the proper height. When used rearward facing, the shoulder harness height must be even with or just below your child's shoulders. Pull the shoulder harness adjustment strap to tighten the harness, making sure your child is secure. If you can pinch the strap, the harness is too loose. Pull on the harness adjuster to remove any slack. Pinch the strap again to make sure there is no slack. Rotate the seat to rearward facing. Snuggo iSize R129 comes with an interchangeable True Shield side impact protection pod. In the event of a collision, it works to reduce the impact and better protects your child's head, neck, and spine. Place the True Shield side impact protection pod on the side of the car seat closest to the vehicle door. To change sides, simply press the release button. Now you and your rearward-facing child are ready to go. When used forward-facing, the shoulder harness height must be even with or just above your child's shoulders. Once the Snug Turn iSize R129 rotating base is correctly installed, place the Snug Go iSize R129 car seat on the base. The indicator on the base will turn green when the car seat is securely connected. Activate one of the rotation buttons located on the sides of the car seat and rotate it toward you. Loosen the harness by pressing the harness adjuster button and pulling out the slack. Unlock the buckle of the harness by pressing the red button. Place the buckles on the sides of the seat. Remove any inserts. Once your little one is in the seat, pull the shoulder harness over their shoulders. Check to make sure the harness straps are at the proper height. They must be even with or just above your child's shoulders. Then engage the buckle. 
Pull the shoulder harness adjustment strap to tighten the harness, making sure your child is secure. If you can pinch the strap, the harness is too loose. Pull on the harness adjuster to remove any slack. Pinch the strap again to make sure there is no slack. To rotate the seat to a forward-facing position, you must activate the forward-facing release located below the harness adjustment strap. These forward-facing lock buttons are designed to make you think again if your child is ready to go forward-facing. Under the EU's R129 standards, children must stay rearward-facing until they reach a height of 75 centimeters and 15 months of age. At Graco, we recommend keeping them rearward facing as long as possible, up to 105 centimeters, approximately four years of age. Snuggo iSize R129 comes with an interchangeable True Shield side impact protection pod. In the event of a collision, it works to reduce the impact and better protects your child from head to hips. Place the True Shield side impact protection pod on the side of the vehicle closest to the door. Now you and your forward facing child are ready to go. For more instructions, please visit graycobaby.eu.